Okay, we're back. And Zlata's very hungry. She's gonna make some food. Make it. Uh, Marin is also hungry. He's just kind of chilling by the radio. Let's go listen to the radio. Music is playing, music is playing. Let's find some news. The Grimodian Federation leader promised that their forces were going to put an end to the conflict in Graz, Gra that place, in a matter of days. Sweet. Classical music is playing. Perfect. Um, too many people to manage. Eat. Perfect. Um, can I get not give her meds anymore, or does she have to stop buzzing around? Actually, you know what? No, you're tired. Sorry. Go to bed. How are you doing? You're also very hungry. Go eat some food. You head up here, and let's see if we can build. I don't. No, I didn't get any electrical parts, did I? Uh, you need to go tend to east. Yeah, I still need electrical parts. I do need to make a saw, though. That's what I needed. Do I think I make it at this workbench? The tools workbench. Uh, make. You go find your daughter. Where are you running off to, sweetie pie? Oh, I thought we were done with heating because winter was over, but. Hey, sweet pie. Have some meds. <laughs> I click for her to talk to her dad, and then she runs upstairs. Yes? Marin just likes chilling in that chair. That's cool. Chill in a chair, dude. I need to put you to bed since you're slightly sick. A garbage truck? I just caught the very tail end of that conversation. Can I actually put her to bed? I can. Go to bed. Um, You need to like set up some water stuff, right? Actually, I need you to make some fuel. I thought we were done with heating, but apparently we're not. Oh, it's plus 17 degrees Celsius. We should be good, right? Uh, let's just cancel that. Let's just, uh, let's finish the day. <clears throat> no, stay here. You scavenge. We're in a sniper junction, we're taking the crowbar the saw. Maybe this is the last time we'll have to do a sniper junction. That was close. That was really close. Okay. We're in. Uh, we'll pick that stuff up on the way out. 
Because we know I gotta come back this way. Let's head upstairs. We cleared out all these other floors. We literally just gotta do. We'll get her go up those stairs. Oh, fuck me. I can't open it. How do I get to the other side? Oh, I can climb up here. Here we go. 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 Uh, so we'll go ahead and saw. So I didn't need the crowbar after all. Whoops. Let's go ahead and... Well, actually I did, because I didn't need to pry the boards off. I just had to do it from the side. So let's go ahead and uh, pry this off. And then let's search. So go and get... Oh, I do need those electrical parts. So if there's more than that. I'm getting a ton of them. Let's grab you. That's a lot of wood. Can't believe they had wood behind a fucking grave. Take the diamond. Uh, I mean, the weapon part. I don't think that. I don't think we need the guitar. I know you can build a guitar. I think that like helps with your morale or something, but we're not gonna do that. We have the radio. We're about to win. Please don't go outside. I don't think I've clicked anywhere where you would think outside is the appropriate way to go. But you make me really nervous because Marin just oh my god, I thought for sure he was gonna die. What's left in these places? Wood. Do I really need the wood? Probably more so than this. And then let's just split. I was about to hit run to exit, but that would be a very poor move on my part. Let's go up here. Go, 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 go. Run to the exit. We are back home. Okay, what do I need to do? 17 degrees. Did you have any adventures? What did you find? Can I talk to her? It would appear that no, I cannot. Oh, yo, yeah, there, there it was. It was there. Talk. Baron, how you doing, buddy? You're very hungry. We're out here making some food. How are you doing, buddy? You're just hungry. How am I looking on water? Do I need to worry about water? An 18 water. I really just need those electrical parts so I can, uh. Yeah. And if the guy comes today, I've got two diamonds, I'll just trade for electrical parts. Although I think it's. We're about to win here in a couple days, so it's probably all for nothing. I need fuel. Uh, what do I need this guy to do? I guess he can go hang out in the chair. She needs to go to bed. Iskra, sweetie pie, go play with your chalk. 
Marin. Make us some food. Make Christo. Uh, I know I just put you in the chair, but sorry, buddy. We need electrical parts. So many electrical parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was all the way downstairs. Just give me a second. Electrical parts. He has none of them. There's no electrical parts. Son of a bitch. Let's take all this fuel. Real I know I can have nothing. I'll be a dick. I'll just I'll trade him two fuel for it. <laughs> That'd be funny if there was like a glitch you could do that. I'm gonna want more than just fuel for my diamond. Really? Okay, let's give him the other diamond. Take both these. Lost. I really wanted your electrical parts, but whatever. Marin, buddy. I gotta micromanage you, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I know you wouldn't mind another helping. Let's go look at things. Toy box already built. Again, do I need this? I've got the alcohol distiller, moonshine. So I still need two electrical parts just to make the heat lamp. I have a feeling I'm not going to get this upgrade before I just win the game. And then I need four more for that, so I need a total of six. That's all I need to do for the day. Water situation's good. Yeah, I just need those electrical parts. So let's go ahead in the day. You are my scavenger, sweetie pie. Scavenge, sleep, sleep, sleep. There's just materials at Sniper Junction. Let's go back to the supermarket. Lots of meds, some weapons. That was where I needed a lockpick. I know I needed a lockpick somewhere. I know I needed a lockpick somewhere. Where did I need a lockpick? Where did I get everything on the roof? I know I'm not going to need a lockpick on the roof, but I'm just checking. There wasn't anything down here, was there? No. Okay. So let's get down here. Here's just the lockpick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take it all. Take that one drop of water. I'm gonna open this and there's gonna be like 30 guys with guns. 
Nah, it's fine. <sighs> Damn it. And I need the crowbar. Had I looked through the locked door, I would have known that. So what's in here? It's one little room. Oh, I can just do it with my hands. Hell yeah. What do we have in these two barrels? I need that. I'll take the water. Uh, that... I can actually take all of that. I should just like, grab all. What do we got here? Tons of electrical parts. One electrical part. Um... And that's it. Do I need to even come back? We're, I think we're basically done with here. And it was, there was like one little thing. It hardly seems worth an entire trip. Now we're actually at time, but I'm so close to the end. I think I'm just going to keep recording and then I might just split. The last episode will either be really long or I'll split into two. Kind of depends. Found plenty of really fine stuff. What a night. That's probably not her voice. We've been raided. I shot them all in the face. Very hungry and tired. I was out getting the stuff. Somebody has to get out and get us stuff. Sweetie. Is she sick still? Very hungry, slightly sick. Okay, so yeah, let's give her some meds. And no, no, no! Come back here. I want to give you the food too. I'm not sure why I'm not having her father do this. Dad, what you doing? You're also very hungry. Make more of this food. Hey, sweetie, what you doing? Give her a hug. Hug her now! Hey, Iskra. That's probably him. Yes, Daddy, that's probably her. What's wrong, dear? Hey, were you crying? They've had this conversation before. I'm not reading all that. Uh, you... Get some food. Marin, hop up here and get the door for me, buddy. Uh, you go to bed. You guys are still talking. What you need, buddy? Hi there, neighbors. Good, he's friendly. Good day to you. I live down the street and I noticed you're living in this abandoned building. I've got some news. There was a humanitarian aid drop last night. Most containers were confiscated by the rebels. But I know about one they missed. It landed in no man's land, so it might be dangerous to get it to get to it, but under the cover of darkness, we should be able to make it. I'll show you where it is if you help me carry supplies. Deal? Done. Yeah. Okay, he's out. You need to go to bed, sweetie pie. It's gonna get better. You're very hungry. Go eat some food. You're asleep. Ah, good times. I'm running low on these veggies. Let's go ahead and just make that up.
And done. And I don't think I need to do anything else. It's end day. The war is over! I won. Awesome. I've survived. Marin didn't even get back with the supplies. Yay! A f happy ending, finally! Oh, it's her little drawing! Alone when burglars came. Oh, that sucks. Some people came to hurt me and take our things. There was no one to stop them. I was scared. I don't want to be alone ever again. Oh, that sucked. All alone in the dark. I was left all alone at night. I was frightened someone would come and hurt me. That was the beginning when we didn't have anybody else. Neighbors in need. Our friendly neighbors came to ask us for help. And reinforcing their shelter, we were happy to help them. Marco died. Marco was killed while looking for supplies. All the little drawings. Ignored and feeling lonely. No one had time for me and everyone ignored me. I hated it. Aww. Saving life. Our neighbor's children asked us for medication for her. We shared the little we had with them. Feeling very ill. One day I get very ill. I don't remember much from that time. I thought I wouldn't get better. Aww. Boris died. Boris was killed while looking for supplies. A knife. Uh-oh, what's the knife? Violent murder. Christo murdered several people. <laughs> I remember that. I think I avenged Boris. Child's despair. It's heartbreaking to watch a child plunge into sorrow. It's an image you can't forget. Hungry children. The children we had helped earlier came to ask for, us for some food. We shared it with them. We sure did. We were awesome. Yeah, snowman. It's a happy drawing. Winter. Winter was very cold, but at least I could build snowman. Too bad my friends weren't there to see it. Father and child. Marin didn't help a man who was wounded by a sniper while coming home to his sick child. Ceasefire. The long-awaited ceasefire finally came into force, eventually putting an end to the fighting in Pagorin. Those who managed to survive the war in that would never forget it. I almost missed that. Iskra and her mother cried for hours when they were finally reunited. Aw. Both of them had horrible memories, which they chose not to talk about. The happy gleam was gone from Iskra's eyes for years to come. She became terribly frightened of rats in confined spaces. She cannot sleep with the lights out. Even long after the war, she sometimes wakes up screaming at night. That's fucking horrible. Why can't I have a happy ending? Despite his family's reunion after the ceasefire, Christo could not forget the horrors of war, and that changed him. His wife tried to help him, but he pushed her away, and they slowly grew apart. They stayed together for Iskra's sake. Their marriage was nothing more than an empty shell, but an empty shell of what it had been. Zlata survived the war and was reunited with her brother in Canada. It took her some time to adjust to the new reality, but she found a job and even resumed her music studies at the Royal Conservatory in Toronto. I suppose that's pretty happy. Surviving the war, Marin set about finding the boy who once brightened his day. His efforts provided, proved futile, so he rebuilt his house and kept the action figure in the shop window. And one winter afternoon... The entrance bell rang, and the familiar smile has once again filled Marin's workshop and his life with light. For all his efforts, Marco was rewarded with a shallow grave. Maybe his wife and daughters will find it someday on, the, on condition that they manage to survive the persecutions themselves. Luck has finally abandoned Boris. Not much of a surprise for him. His strength was not enough to keep him alive. In a just universe, he'd be with his son now. So that's the end of this war mine. Um... I don't think I'm going to do any more of it for the channel. If you guys really want me to do more, then, you know, tell me. And we'll see about doing more, but I think we're done with this game for now. So, I don't know what we'll do next. You'll just have to check back and see. Hit subscribe to see more. Hit like if you liked it. And, uh, yeah, we'll get on to something else.